Hi, welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how we factorize expressions, these 10 expressions. Well, in the first part, anyway, I'm going to show you the first four, and then you can look at the next tutorial to look at some of the other ones. Okay, well, first of all, then, when you need to factorize, say, this expression here, or any expression, first thing you do is always check to see whether there's any common factors. And in this one, we've got, as far as the 10 and the minus 12 go, we've got a 2 that goes into both 10 and 12. That's the highest common factor for those numbers. So we can say that this is identical to 2. We've also got an x to the power 4, which is contained in x to the power 5. So x to the power 4 is a common factor. And as for the y's, we've got a y squared, which is contained in the y cube. So y squared is the highest common factor for the y's. So that's our overall highest common factor. We just need a bracket. And inside this bracket, we just need a 5, an x, so that we get 2 times 5 is the 10. And x to the power 4 times x is x to the power 5. And we got our y squared. So we get the first term, 10x to the 5 y squared. As to the second term, what we need is minus 6y. So that 2 times the minus 6 gives minus 12. And then you've got your x to the 4 out the front. And you've got y squared times y, which gives the y cubed. So we split this into a lot of factors. And uh, this factor here doesn't factorize any further. So this is fully factorized. Now for number 2. We look again to see whether we've got a highest common factor, and indeed we have. We've got a 3 that goes into both those two terms. So 3 goes on the outside of a bracket, and we've got a squared minus 4 inside. So when you expand it, we get 3a squared minus 12. But with this question, this factor here, a squared minus 4, factorizes again. This is often referred to as the difference of two squares. a squared is the square of a, and the 4 is the square of 2. And when you have a difference of two squares, what you get is two brackets, something like this. So for a squared minus 4, you would have a plus 2 and a minus 2. You could write this as a minus 2, a plus 2, that doesn't matter. But also, you must remember that you've got 3 out the front here, and that needs to be written there. OK, so you now have two factors here, and each of these factors doesn't factorize any further, so this is fully factorized. Now in number 3, again, we look for any common factors, but there are no common factors for this one. It's a quadratic uh, expression. It's a trinomial, three terms. And when you get something like this, it will come from expanding two brackets. And because 7 is a prime number, then it can only be a 7x and an x at the front here. Now remember, next you need to check to see uh, whether you can get two numbers that multiply together to give minus 3. Now there's many combinations of getting minus 3. You could say have a plus 1 and a minus 3. Or you could swap these around maybe. Okay, You could swap their signs as well. You check out these combinations. This particular combination gives you 7x squared. It gives you your minus 3 at the end because 1 times minus 3 is minus 3. But check out that middle term. Remember, you've got to do 1 times x, which is 1x, and 7x times minus 3, which is minus 21x. So that's going to give you minus 20x, not that middle term of 4x. Switch the, sign, the, the numbers around. Put a 3 here and a 1 there. Try that combination. Always switch them around. So you put a 3 here and a 1 here. If you try this, you've got plus 3x. And you've got now minus 7x. That would give you minus 4x. You've hit the target value except for the sign. You've got minus 4x. You want a plus 4x. 
so what you do is you just simply switch the signs around so in other words this becomes minus 3 this becomes plus 1 so you'll find that you get minus 3x now and 7x there making the plus 4x so that's the combination that you need all right so always try those by trial and error but be systematic now number four is again a trinomial look to see whether you've got a common factor there's no common factors throughout here so what is this from this comes again from expanding two brackets now for 15, 15 is not a prime number, so you could have combinations like, say, 15a and a. And you should now try out all the combinations that give minus 6b squared. And they could be things like minus 6b and just plus b. Let's try this, see if it works. When you multiply the first two terms you're going to get 15a squared when you multiply the last two terms you get minus 6b squared so those two terms are taken care of it's whether you get the plus a b in the middle so for the a b term you've got 15a times the b that's going to be 15a b minus 6a b well that's going to be 9a b nothing like what we've got in the middle here so try switching these numbers round the 6b and the b here okay again be systematic so if we were to try that and we were to put the 6b here and the 1b here just the b what have we got this time well 15 times 6 is going to be 80 so you've got 80ab minus another ab well that's going to be 79 AB nothing like this well you could try a 3 and a 2 2 and a 3 but you'd find that they don't work either so what is it well for 15 it isn't a 15 a e and an a what it turns out to be is essentially a 5a and a 3a so you've got a 5a there and this one is a 3a again you'd have to try your combinations of a 6 and a 1, a 1 and a 6b, okay? You'd find they don't work. But if you try minus 6b squared as minus 3b, let's just put that in there, and plus 2b here, you'll find that this combination works. So again, you've got to be very patient and systematic in your methods. You'll notice here we've still got our 15a squared, we've got our minus 6b squared and for this loop here you've got plus 10ab and here minus 9ab giving you your plus ab okay so that's going to be the combination that works check out these factors again no common factors they don't factorize any further so this is now fully factorized Okay, well, four work solutions then to this exercise. And in the next video, what I'll do is take you through a few more in this exercise. Okay?